Do you remember? Do you remember a few weeks ago when I showed you that I got a goose? Yes. Well, I got another goose. He's eating a tesseract. I love him. We need to have a conversation, you and I. I love Tentacle Kitty. So yeah, it's it's E three weekend as we're it's E three is wrapping up, I guess, as we're doing this. And um did you know that Square Enix is doing an Avengers? I heard something about that. We got our first look at it, just not not a few moments ago. D do you guys want to see? You guys at home? You, you you on the YouTube? Do you want to see the uh, the Square Enix Avengers? Does it does it have my sweet babu? Um. Oh boy. Oh no, that's just not good. He's Captain Potato Head. He looks like... There are two things that he looks like to me. Mm. The costume is awful, but whatever. Let's not focus on that. He looks like in Men in Black when the roach alien was wearing an Edgar suit. Sugar and water. <laughs> like the skin fits over whatever the fuck is under there. <laughs> And if you look at his facial expression, like it looks like they put the brain of a dog into a body and he hasn't figured out how to walk on two legs. Yet. <laughs> like if you put Loki, your dog, not Loki, Loki's brain into Steve Rogers, body, like. Her? Treats. I, I want to point out. We they, brought Natasha they, straight in from 1992. I see. So that's cool. Um, someone on Twitter said uh, that apparently the Hulk is played by Jason Bateman. <laughs> also straight out of 1992. Um, I th if you he actually look has really thin glasses on if you look carefully at the high-res image. Yeah, and also his fist is as big as his head. Is Banners? No, no. Um, oh, Tony? Tony. Tony's fist is as big as his head. That might be like the suit. Well, it, no, because even still, I mean, it's just proportion. No, 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 no. If you look at proportion to all the other people, he's out of proportion with everyone else. Yeah, like he looks ridiculous. Yeah, he looks like any itty bitty tiny, like a baby head. There, there's, there's, that's not Tony. He's that's like a reverse Funko Pop. That's a six year old with a beard they, they painted on him. <laughs> It's just three chihuahuas standing on top of each other <laughs> with a head. People are going, because his hands are in a metal shell. Did you watch the movies? Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, Tony's no. not exactly master of restraint. So I could see him building, like, like it kind of looks like he's in, like, mini Hulkbuster armor. No, because, no, we've seen Iron Man in the movies. And if you go and look, Iron Man's fist is not bigger than his head. Yeah, but they can't make it look like the movies. It has to look really stupid. You know, it, like, apparently we based Cap on that Rob Liefeld drawing of Cap where you're looking at him from the front and the side at the same time. <laughs> and he's four feet wide. I, I understand it's a Full likeness choice. issue. I understand it's a likeness issue. They can't make them look like the actors. Fine. But they don't have to make them look terrible. Yeah, there are... 50 some odd years of comics they could pull from. I mean, the the first thing I thought looking at this was, you fools! You've captured the stunt doubles! <laughs> <laughs> I've actually seen Chris Evans' stunt doubles, and they're better looking. <laughs> oh, video games, what are you doing to us? What are you doing? Tony, they made Tony's face, like, I think they pulled the same head off of, like... Middle Eastern terrorist NPC number three from some Tom Clancy game. That's what we call recycling. Yeah. Um, 
All right. Well, now that we've done our popular, relevant culture thing, um, let's uh, let let's get started. Get the intro going. Each week, Catherine, Radio Dead Air Alliance, go out in the worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible stuff, break back here for a little segment we like to call, What the Fuck is Wrong with You? And let's get started all the way down in Australia land. I didn't, Ooh, I didn't, down under. I didn't put the thing on the screen. I should have put it there. There we go. Down under. I'm no good at accents. I don't know why I try. Don't, don't do that. Don't do that. I'm so bad at accents. I grew up in a house with a man with an Irish brogue my whole life. Can I do an Irish brogue? No, I fucking cannot. I... All right, let's let's start in Australia. Don't do that again, Tara. Um, this is when you find out the ages involved here. Everyone should be ashamed. Everyone. Woman charged with le allegedly driving with daughter on car bonnet through, uh, let's see, it's not Washington, is it? That's not West Washington. Australia. West Australia. Thank you. <coughs> Saw the WA. I was like, what? Okay. And first, first, first thing you guys are thinking at home is like, what? No, there's a six year old on the car. No, 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 no. So the good news is it's not like a six year old there. Um, alleged that a, a West Australian woman has been charged after she was allegedly caught by police with her 17-year-old daughter on the bonnet of a car. Alleged the woman drived around the city center of a small town of Wagan in West Australia's Great Southern Region. Local police posted t footage of the incident the weekend. Several men members of the community called police to alert them. Um, a 56-year-old woman has been charged with acts likely to endanger life, as expected to appear in the magistrate's court. I mean, obviously, she was working her shift at the Double R Diner, and her daughter called her frantic because her stupid junkie boyfriend had run off with Gersten Howard again. And she drove over to the Fat Trout trailer park, and, you know... Everybody's like, what? I didn't watch season three of Twin Peaks. <sighs> yeah, this is irresponsible. 56. Old how, enough to know better. I, I want all of you watching right now to think about how old your parents are. And probably some of you are sitting there going, that's older than my mom and dad. And if that's the case, kind of drives home the point. You shouldn't be doing this. 56 is way old enough to know better. And like, how did this happen? Just out of just. What? Mom, you know what would be super fun? No. If I just hung out on the hood of the car and you drove around. Okay. 17 years old. Also old enough. You, you know, we've had stories like this before where it's like with like a 10 year old or something, which yeah. is not good, but I could see a 10 year old thinking this would be a great idea because they're stupid. What is it you always tell me? Your brain doesn't fully understand consequences until age 25. Yeah. Which I did not know. Like your brain's not fully developed for understanding consequences in a concrete way until age 25. Which is but very weird. Like you know this is a bad idea. That's very weird considering the human lifespan was only about, what, 40? Right? For a long that time. Human history, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, that it makes... really explains a lot when you think about <laughs> it. It explains a fuck lot. <laughs> I don't know, maybe like, I mean, it's Australia, so maybe this is like compulsory training for wrestling sharks. It's fucking Australia, man. I assume the sharks just jump up on land and try to eat you. That's no. Everything in Australia wants you dead. Well, that's true, but you know, including the government. Um, some of the people from the latest election are out down there are going, yeah, yeah. Um, so we have we have a oh, fuck me. I. <laughs> 
I don't know if I should go with the Mongo joke or the Conan joke. And I, 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 I guess just split the difference on that one. Police! Man struck horse! <laughs> man struck police horse officers after being told not to pee in public. Don't you hit a horse, you asshole! Awesome, You want to punch the cops, that's your business. Don't hit the fucking horse. He didn't do anything to you. Man was arrested in the early morning hours Saturday after Austin police say he struck two police horses and two mounted officers after an officer told him to stop peeing in public. Luis Rios Flores, 20, was arrested June 8th and charged with interfering with police service animals a class A misdemeanor, according to the arrest that affidavit. Be a felony. According to the arrest affidavit, officers responded on foot to the 500 block of Nash's Avenue, uh, Nash's Street, sorry, uh, to an officer urgently requesting backup. When he arrived on the scene, he found five APD mounted officers on their horses, two of them detaining Flores by holding him by the arms. According to one of the mounted officers while riding, he observed Flores peeing in public and told him to stop. He didn't and began cursing at the officers. The officers moved closer again, tell him again to stop. Flores finished, and when mounted officers arrived, he hit the officer's horse in the head with his hand, causing the officer to lose control of his horse momentarily. I'm just sitting there like, sir, you can't pee in public. And he's like, why not? The horse can you not stopping the horse. That's a good point. I can't, I can't be in public, but the horse can. I thought this was America. <laughs> I mean, that is a solid point. But also, you don't want to start a fist fight with a horse. You will lose. <laughs> not an officer. They, they have foot armor. They <laughs> do. Not an officer told Flores he was under arrest and moved to detain him. Before they were able to successfully, Flores took a swing at another horse, missing, and punched an officer in the thigh and another in the th in the hand, another in the thigh, and hit a third horse on the side. I hate this guy. There's a big reason you don't punch horses, and it's not just that they have foot armor. It's that they are large, easily startled, herd animals. Horses are technically a prey species. And prey species are wound up. Yeah, they're very nervous because the whole world wants to eat them. So if you hit one, their response to this is, and these are police horses, so they are very well trained, and, but normally their response is to completely lose their shit. It should be against your instincts to punch something as big as a horse. Right? <laughs> like... As like everything in you, you are experiencing this giant mound of flesh that's like three times your weight. And now sees you as a threat. Don't, don't punch the, don't punch the, don't punch, you are not Conan the fucking barbarian. Does that happen? Does Conan punch a horse? I've only seen the Jason Momoa version. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Conan <gasps> well, punch. fuck that movie. <laughs> Arnold. It bit him. Good. And he reacted. Good. That also happened in Blazing Saddles. That's where the Mongo yeah. comes from. I saw that movie. I don't remember that. You part. don't remember Mongo punching the horse? No. Yeah, it was you. You. You reacted to it. it that one's not a real horse. It's not punching. a real horse. That the horse is alone. Out. They didn't bother anybody. They're just trying to. What? What? The other thing about this story is they were already five officers on this dude and they were desperately calling for backup well, I mean, it doesn't say anything about a weapon well no i mean i would call him back up too because you have five <laughs> horses there and this dude who is obviously inclined to punch the horses yeah i'd call for some help at that point because that's that's somebody who's liable to start some shit i feel like though the cops probably handled this wrong eh. like you see when he hits the first horse you get the other horses out of his reach. It's true. And deal with him mano y mano. That's true. Just why? The f 
You should. How did? How do you get so defensive about peeing in public? He wasn't even being cited at that point. It's just the police officer no, said, "Just like, please stop. Put, please put your dick away." What kind of fucking ape response is it to go? No, you, you wrong. I, you don't get to tell me to put my dick away. They do, actually. They do. That's and if Lord of the Rings has taught me anything, it's that cavalry beats infantry every time. Does that include the ghosts, or? No. They had, they had, they had. Once you involve the undead, the rules change. (sighs) This next one. Any other circumstance, I would kind of be pissed about this. However, my past few months dealing with my cable company have swung my loyalties to the other side. Uh, let's see here. Man charged with damaging Verizon equipment. Cherry Hill, Cherry Hill New Jersey. 38-year-old man from Burlington County is charged with deliberately damaging Verizon equipment in three separate incidents. Police say David uh, Rydenbaker of Southampton is accused of damaging Verizon's fiber optic and copper communication lines three times in March and April. Oh, so we're not talking like he smashed his box. The damage caused... fucked up the lines. Yeah. Damage caused partial communication blackouts throughout South Jersey. What kind of a grudge, man? Like, Verizon are jerks. Yes, they are. Most cable companies are jerks. But Jesus! I tell you, Tara, after, after the weeks of the upload not working... And then it came back, and then it suddenly stopped again. That, and then, then I think the part my, where, I, where I was close to snapping from this reality entirely was when the customer support dude told me to call my modem's manufacturer to see if, what the problem... I think that, that you are all lucky that I didn't have an axe nearby. Because my... An axe and a ladder. Because I would have been... I can't have cable. Nobody gets cable. I don't think that's fair. (laughs) Well, you you have to understand your brain. It's it's like you follow you follow this Kafka catch twenty two absurd nightmare that is the customer service tech support line tech support. Listen, if Thor managed to have problems with his cable and not call down the lightning. This guy cannot fuck up the lines. That is, I, and that is, that is kind of impressive, because number one, Taylor guys, there's a point at which Thor has trouble with the cable. Yes, yeah, sorry. Um, it's kind of impressive because he ac- <laughs> he actually knew what he was doing. Yeah, like he knew not to cut the Comcast lines. It's just for employee, perhaps. Uh, well, the, the side side note: there has actually been an issue with um between Verizon and their union, such as Verizon's not a, a giving them a fucking contract, and uh, other issues and scabs and I, how long? I don't know how. I have to look it up. I think Verizon's people have been working without a contract for a long time. Was it Verizon's people or is it Spectrum's people? I our telecom in America is fucked, everybody. If you're most, most industry industries in America are fucked. It is true, yes. Pretty much anything in America that is for profit is a shit show. Yes. And we infect every other nation on earth. Yeah. We are the STD. We are an economic STD. America is an economic STD. You should write that up as an essay and put it up on Medium and just watch it explode. We are to... If you're lucky, you could get the president's attention. We are to the financial systems of the world herpes. That's what the fuck we are. (sighs) 
All right. The next story I was kind of on the fence about including because it involves retail workers, food workers, and I'm like, well, they have a hard enough job as it is. I can give them a little slack, but then I read further into this, and then I got to the no fuck y'all. Um, oh, dear. So I did I did try to be fair and balanced here. I, did, I, I was like, well, I'll give them the benefit of the doubt, but then... Florida Burger King workers seen mopping tables. Ew. A customer, Katie Duran, recorded video of the incident Thursday night as a Bur Florida Burger King employee is caught on camera cleaning tables with a mop. Duran told the news outlet that before the employees began mopping the table where her family had just eaten, she saw the same employee mopping the floors. Okay. Number one. This is actually against the law. Yeah. This is violating federal health codes. Because, yeah. You yeah. can't do that. No. Let, let me just, let me, let me just put it, put it this way. Um, would you mop your table at home, your counters, your table, your stove, with the same mop you use to mop your floors? No. No. Um, yeah. Because... And public floors, anything the public gets to touch is basically a Petri dish, now, a Petri dish of horror. Now, I, initially, I was like, okay, they are not the best paid workers. Uh, no. They are no. not the best treated sure. workers. But, the, but it gets worse. I, I was like, maybe I could let this one guy slide. Maybe. However, customer investigation reportedly in discovered that a, that particular Burger King location has many health code violations, uh, including vents in the kitchen containing mold, lack of hair nets while preparing food, and the interior of a freezer soiled with food residue. Hey, well, don't eat at the Burger King in St. John's, Florida. So this this wasn't just a one time one employee was like fuck it it's late I'm past my shift I'm not getting overtime yeah. I'm just gonna get this done so I can go home I I wouldn't have liked it but I would have understood that but no it sounds like this entire Burger King is just fucked I'm gonna be honest I still would not have understood it that's disgusting like, yeah no. and I have worked several food service jobs no 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 mm mm. I also love that nobody in the store stopped him. Yeah. Everybody else is just like, oh, you go on, Jeff. That's fine. That's a, hey, work smarter, not harder. <laughs> I, I just, good God. This is how you, this is how you lose your franchise. Right yeah. here. As well you should. Because this, this is where Burger King corporate comes down and say, oh, no. Oh, no, we're not letting you keep our name on the side anymore. I mean, do you think Humpty wants to get busy in your bathroom? Wow, that's a deep cut, Tara. Oh, my God. You just, like, dredge that shit up from the 90s, right? Good God. That's what I do. But, you know, you have to think about things like that. Think of Humpty. Really? That's yeah. He's already got that nose. Don't make his life harder. <sighs> Some kids out there are furiously googling this, going, "Who? What's a, Why? Why is a Humpty? A, like Humpty Dumpty? He's an egg. I don't. I don't get it." <sighs> okay, this next one is wow. This is some audacity. Wow. All right. No, I'm just, we're just going to jump into it. I don't have a good way to frame this. This is just pretty wow. This dude, my God. Louisiana principal resigns after being arrested at strip club while on school field trip. Wow. Holy family principal 
Michael Comeau was arrested Thursday in Washington, D.C. at a strip club. So that's a Catholic school. It's a Catholic school, Tara. According to a police report, officers responded to Archibald's Gentleman Club in Washington, D.C. for an intoxicated man refusing to pay his bill. Cool. Am I saying that right, Como? Is that like Perry Como or Comu? Como? Como? Uh, Perry, yeah, Como. Como allegedly was, quote, observed standing in the roadway refusing to move. Went on to say officers asked Camo multiple times to move out of the roadway, but Camo refused. Camo was arrested for public intoxication and possession of an open container of alcohol. Numerous sources told Nine News investigators Camo had a service dog with him at the strip club. That he left behind? What kind of service dog? Yeah, like, what does he have a surface dog for? Because if this was a blind dude going to a strip club, holy shit, the audacity. I mean, he has glasses on in the picture. So, not blind. Right. Yeah. So, but what was it his service dog? Did he just find his service dog? Did he, like, steal one of the kids? The Catholic school principal also worked part-time as a part-time police officer. The Brulee Police Department, he resigned by text early Friday morning. Here's the thing. I, I, I am a pretty non-traditional, non-practicing, terrible Catholic. I don't care if you want to go to the strip club. Maybe on your own time. Well, no, I, I understand your what own time. I do not mean when you have put the eighth grade class in their hotel rooms for the night on the fucking field trip. I, I understand his thought process here. It's not a good one, but I know what he was thinking. And here's this. I'm not in my hometown. So nobody I know will see me go right, to the strip I'm not going to run into any parents. That was his thinking. Except he fucked it all up. Except he decided he didn't have to pay the tab. Yeah. Which, um, by the way, thou shalt not steal, even if it's lap dances. <laughs> so good job. I just it, the, just the, the 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 balls on this guy, Christ Almighty! Like my nephew is next week or this week graduating eighth grade from a Catholic school. So. And we, I can say that if his principal did this, my sister would definitely murder him. Just realize that had he just not gotten so fucking drunk, yeah, this would have been fine. He would have gotten away with this scot-free. Probably would have gotten away with it. But no, he gets to the big old city, and the first opportunity, it's all shots and titties. Viva Las Vegas! Just all, just, oh my god. With the service, like, what happened to the service dog? <laughs> Poor puppy. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure everybody in the bar was very nice to the dog. Yeah, on the other hand, the dog might have had the best night of his life. <laughs> Got to meet all of these people, and they're so yeah. nice. Hi. Everybody petting me. Hello. Hello, nice lady. Put his brain in Steve Rogers' body. It was great. Um... <laughs> Now, I do want to point out, uh, the incident occurred when the students on the trip were in their hotel room for the evening under the supervision of other chaperones. So it wasn't like he just left the kids in the hotel room and went. There were I other... Mean, at least he didn't bring the kids. What did he tell the chaperones, though? I have to go out to pray. <laughs> I need to run an errand. <laughs> Imagine being the chaperone that gets that call. Uh, yes, uh, your principal, uh, he's in the drunk tank um, because he was at the titty bar. And, and he has a $300 that we'll need paid. Yeah, we, we need $300. Yeah. We have his dog. <laughs> and a Catholic school is not a private school. I mean, it's not a public school. That's typically right. a private school, which means if these are chaperones, they're parents. And if yeah. they're parents... 
That means they were paying tuition for this shit. Yes. Oh, their heads probably exploded. And, like, the Catholic school system, not especially progressive. No. Not super big on the forgiveness part of Catholicism. <laughs> Gumpsy's like, I have to go do some God stuff. Why does God <laughs> need all those singles? For, you know, giving to the homeless. <laughs> And putting in collection plates. I'm going to go to Mass at every church in the city. All right. This final one. I got nothing. I fucking... This is... I have been in public, and I've, I... This is kind of like that weird, stupid impulse in your brain where and you never do it. But just sometimes you get a stupid thought in your brain. It's like, hey, what if we drive off the road right now? Yeah. This is. I get that on high bridges a lot. This is that only way stupider. Two men arrested after climbing seventy-two stories up the side of Chicago's Vista Tower. Why? It's anyone guess what felt scarier to two suburban men who tried to scale the side of an under-construction downtown skyscraper this weekend? The free climbing elevator scaffolding at least 72 stories up or seeing police waiting to arrest them as they return to the ground. Free climbing is when you don't use rope. Any sign, any, any connect. Yeah, you're just climbing hand over hand. At 7.15 p.m. Saturday, Chicago police were called to a construction site uh, for a call of criminal trespass. Um, charged with one misdemeanor count of reckless misconduct and one misdemeanor count of criminal trespass to land. Each were Daniel Pierce, 28, of Plainfield, and David Gagne, of 28, of Aurora. Uh, witnesses told responding officers they saw two men climbing the scaffolding uh, about 72 stories up. When officers found the two men, they had descended to about 40 stories. That's Why? That's what? really, really high. Why? Yeah, why? What? Were you just walking along and, and you looked over and you went, Dave? Dave? I have an idea, Dave. Hear this me is out. Like, dumb dude shit. This is dumb dude shit! Like, if it was one of them alone, this wouldn't happen, but they amped each other up the way dudes do, because you're not that bright sometimes. I love you, but Jesus. <laughs> and like, one dude's like, oh man, I bet I could climb that. And normally the thought would pass and he'd keep walking, but his dude friend was like, no, you can't. Fuck you. You can't climb that. Yes, I can. I bet I could climb higher than you. No, I could totally climb higher. Than you. And next thing you know, they're 70 stories up. We're giant 10 year olds is our problem. We're giant 10 year olds sometimes. What was it you were saying that Dan, Dan said you don't understand consequences till 25? Yeah. yeah. These guys were 28, so they're double stupid. Yeah. I is Arrested development, perhaps? I... You couldn't pay me to do this. No. Fuck no. Up a scaffold? 72 stories? How high is that? How high is a story? So high. I get nervous if I'm, if I'm on bleachers. A story's what? Eight feet? Sure. I think it's about eight feet. So that's 70 times eight, seven times eight, five. Six. That's at least 500 feet. Fuck that. Fuck. I like, I like being on the ground. That's <laughs> five, 500. No. Hell in the. Free climbing. At any point, either the either or both of these guys could have been liquid. This, this liquid is what human. This is one of the all over the pavement. No, this is the call the cops got and get and went. Wait, nobody's that stupid. Nobody's. That, holy shit, they are. Look, they are. Oh my god, they're really. Yeah, can you imagine being those cops just being like, "What? What the hell can we even charge them?" With? <laughs> Like, is being a fucking moron against the law? 
<laughs> it yeah. should be. Well, hell no. 779 feet. Oh. 770. No! Fuck you. No! Wow, a story is taller than I thought it was. No ropes. Jesus. You don't understand consequences until you are 72 stories high. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you anything they were giggling like idiots the whole time. There's no indication they were drunk or high. So these were two sober dudes. It's kind of amazing that we've managed to continue as a species for as long as we have, isn't it? Isn't it? I mean, like, it's another thing I think about a lot when I read the relationship subreddit. Man, like some of the pe stuff people put on there, I'm like, how have we become the dominant species on this planet? Because we are all neurotic, insane morons. Oh man, it's somebody. Have you watched Chernobyl? That's what I was thinking about ever all through all those episodes. I'm like, how are we not all dead? I have not. I feel like that would be too stressful for me. It is very stressful. And given what he did in the army, I feel like it would be too stressful for me because he would tell me <sighs> the things they leave out. I I just it 700 780 feet in the sky. No rope. Just Jesus. And it's not even like someone was filming them for YouTube or anything. They right. just did this. You were never going to be able to prove you did it. You were going to tell all your bros and they were going to be like, yeah, fuck you. No, I, didn't. I, mean, I mean, I guess now you have the police record as proof. So it's a, you. it's a weird thing that what popped in my head was they didn't even monetize this shit. There was a guy last year who like climbed Trump Tower with suction cups. Yeah. Try and deliver his resume to Donald Trump. Mm. Who no longer lives in Trump Tower, mm -hmm. by the way. I yeah. don't know if you missed yeah. it. We had an election. He doesn't live there right now. Godslayer is says, uh, to put this into perspective, the Eiffel Tower is 984 feet. So this was 700. This is only 200 feet shorter than the Eiffel Tower. That's how high they climb. Fuck man. Goblin is saying, remember the raccoon. You know what? They were probably thinking, well, everybody loved it when the raccoon climbed the building. Because it was an adorable raccoon and we were all rooting for him. <laughs> we're not rooting for you because the raccoon's brain is about this big. <sighs> Human brain is about this big. Do you remember that we're day? For you because you should know better. Do you remember that day? I do. That I was, was a great crazy. day. I was checking Twitter like every 10 minutes. I was very worried about that record. That was a, no, that was because we were all together. We around the world oh. came together. We were equally going, oh my God, the raccoon. And then the raccoon was okay. And oh. we were all like, yes, I believe in the world again. For, Good for things still happen. We all had hope again. <laughs> Just the fucking raccoon. Uh, all right. So I, I guess the first thing we learned this week is. Unless you're a rac adorable raccoon, you don't get to do this. No. You do not nobody's get to... Nobody's gonna, nobody's gonna worry about you anyway. Nobody's gonna feel bad for you. They're, they're just... You know there was like th five people on the street going, Jump! 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 Because there's always, always... It's, you know, Chicago, so probably. We've learned that if uh, if you're going to go to the strip club while you're taking the kids on a field trip... Um, cut yourself off at three shots. Pay your fucking tab. Know your limits. That's just, yeah, that's. Um, we've learned that mops are not a table cleaning utensil. No, gross. Jesus. I, I don't think, I don't know why we have to tell you this. We shouldn't have to tell you this. And yet. And here we are. I mean, I, I will be honest. When I was starting out on my own as an adult male, I, I had to learn cleaning stuff. And it's not because I didn't want to around the house. My mom was one of those kind of, of people who was like, you'll just do it wrong. Here, let me. So I didn't get those skills. I didn't get like the dishwashing skills. I, I did like yard chores and stuff. I didn't get do inside chores. So the washing clothes, it took me a while. And yet I still never went mop, table, mop. Okay. <laughs> 
You know what? Um, we have learned that don't punch a horse. Fuck no. Oh my god, what the fuck is wrong with you? Don't fucking punch a horse. Um, we've learned just because your cable goes out doesn't mean you get to take out everyone else's too. No, that's childish. And finally this week, we've learned that if you're old enough to be technically be a grandma, don't be driving around with your fucking kid on the fucking hood of your fucking car. Yeah. No, what, no good is going to come from that. We, we really shouldn't have to explain that. And yet we do. <laughs> You know what? I want, I swear to God, I want to be a consultant. I want to be a life consultant. We should start a life coach business. We should, we should have like a website where people can write in and ask us, is this a good idea? And we can tell them no. Yeah. We should have like life coaching for morons. Like, yes. Uh, should I climb the 72 story? No, that'll oh. be $20. <laughs> 